Okay, now that we've talked about a lot of just the background info, um, how to actually set it up and make it work, let's take a look at how we actually uh, show what um, and make this actually be like a gaming feature that our students are going to enjoy. So if you go to the house, mine's called robotics, yours will be called something different, but if the part that says house and we click on clipboard, this is where we're actually able to see the info about our students. So um, I'm going to just choose my summer robotics here. And now I can see the names, student names. I can see um, how much experience they've gotten. Um, I can sort by experience, who has the most experience. I can sort by gold, um, by ID, whatever I want, however I want to sort by that. Uh, but this also is where we have some options as well. And some teachers ask, could they just use this part of it? Um, I can select each of their names, or I can select certain people on their names. And I can then come up and I can add gold to them, or I can add experience to them. So some people were saying, well, can I just have a leaderboard without having all the quests? Absolutely. If you set up just the users, select who you're adding uh, it to, and then you uh, choose how much you're adding to them, hit add. Once you do that, that will increase the amount of gold that those people have. We can then go, uh, we see it here, but there's also, we can go into the stats, and we can see in the stats, we've got this leaderboard section, and we can select the summer robotics, and you'll see then on the leaderboard where each person's at. So that could be a really beneficial thing for your students, is to see that leaderboard and have that kind of gamified aspect of it then as well. So that's um, a pretty easy way to do that. You can uh, see your badges that you've earned, uh, any, re, any quests that you've done um, in the stats page. The darker the rectangles are the number of stages, and the darker ones are the stages that I've completed. The lighter ones I have not done yet. So. And a lot of these, I was just kind of testing to make sure that they worked, and I didn't actually go through and put the password in. I just wanted to make sure that it was there. So that's why you see a lot of them is not completed from mine. You can send messages to them, and they'll get a message there as well um, in the system. So if you notice that they're not finishing the last quest, you can say, um, you know, how come you're not doing that? Whatever the case may be. So this is where you have a lot of options for how you actually... Um, use the system and how you can set it up to see the leaderboard, to see the work that they're doing and how far they're going through with each of those things.